It is cold and rainy here in California. And I don't want to leave my house at all. So my friends, don't let the muggles get you down if it's cold and dreary where you're at. Today we have a new release from Diamond Art Club. Now this was released um, not last weekend, I believe the weekend before. And this is one of their collaborations with the Wizarding World and Diamond Art Club, legally licensed. And this one is one of my favorite Harry Potter movies. Now, I do believe uh, Hannah from your spec Sparkling Spectrumite, this is her favorite book. I don't read the Harry Potter books, I just watch the movies. Um, and this is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. It is a 67 by 99 centimeter square diamond painting. It's big. It's the movie posters. I love the movie posters. I love basically all of the Harry Potter creations that um, Diamond Art Club has come out with. Like, I am obsessed. Um, house of Slytherin right here. So, please, below in the comments, put your house that you are. Um, and let me introduce myself because if you're new to this, hi, I'm Miranda from Diamond Painting with the Besties. Um, and I just wanted to welcome you to the channel. And if you've been back before, I'm so glad that you guys are back to keep me company on this really cold and dreary day. Anywho, I love these boxes. Let me cut through this plastic and we're going to take a quick look um, at them because there is just so much going on with these uh, limited edition boxes that Diamond Art Club has. So it's wrapped in plastic. I just noticed that there is the little hook. So I wonder if that is going to be offered in a brick and mortar store at any time but it is all inclusive like i had said it says unleash your inner artist it's showing your socials here on the side of the box on the back right here it gives a whole bunch of pictures and directions and what comes in your kit now i'm actually going to read the kit contents because i never have read it out loud or even paid attention to it before oh my box see this is a beefy diamond painting because my box is trying to come apart here. So what is included? Premium velvet tarpaulin patent canvas, pre-sorted color coated diamonds, reusable and recyclable toolkit pouch, uh, diamond applicator, comfort grip, multi-places, heart-shaped wax container, two wax pads, craft tray, tray stopper, reusable baggies, inventory sheet with pre-cut sticker labels, um, a sticker to adhere to your box or journal, cover minder, washi tape, tweezers. So it looks like we still have our cover minder in here. I do know that they are going to be stopping that. Oh, and before I open it, look at me just rushing. Over here, we have a larger picture of it. And you can see we have Harry, Hermione, and Ron right there. This kit has 46 colors, including one Aurora Borealis and two fairy dust diamonds. There's a total of 106,793 diamonds in this kit. Maybe I will start keeping track um, since all of the canvases really show um, how many. I believe all of them, or maybe that's just Diamond Art Club. So maybe I'll just keep track of the drills that Diamond Art Club. Um, so here is our sticker sheet, our small sticker, which we'll look at in a second. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm going to have to like put some tape around this box because you know how my drills be looking. Alrighty, so here is our small sticker right here. This is great for your journal or the side of your box or whatever you choose to do. I've said it before like a million times. I put both my stickers in um, my journal because I'm not one to waste a sticker. Here's our toolkit. Let's take a really quick peek at it. Um, especially for everyone, if there's anyone that is new here. So, you get your Diamond Art Club branded sharp tweezers right here. Please keep the plastic on it. Only square kits come with that. You get a bag of baggies. You get a diamond painting pen with a squishy or hand grip. Um, your color may vary from mine. We get a four and a seven skinny placer right here. You get a pot of wax, heart-shaped with two heart-shaped pieces of wax in it. 
you get your tray with spout, which I will show you in a second. And it looks like I got a little yellow seashell cover minder. Here is with a spout. Cover minder helps keep your plastic peeled back if you keep your plastic on there. And last but not least, we get some floral washi tape. So a very, very nice toolkit. Everything you need and more to diamond paint. So let's put these back in here real quick. I'll put that up here for now. Alrighty, here is our ginormous canvas right here. I'm gonna turn a light on because, well, can you guys see? Okay, yeah, you can see, okay. Um, it's just really cloudy and blooming, gloomy, and I don't want the, uh, I don't want there to be a glare if I turn on the light. All right, so right here, we have our soft plush canvas right here. The great thing about this canvas is that it flattens within a couple of minutes. Um, it helps keep the color on your kit so that way if you don't get to this for a little while, you don't have to worry about your symbols or your image fading. Holy cow, this is heavy. Let me flatten this out real quick to see if it'll do its thing and I won't have to roll it back because you know I'd be, you guys know I'd be struggling. Here's a thank you note pamphlet, or uh, here's a pamphlet from Diamond Art Club. It's got a thank you note from the founder on here. You get what's included in your kit. You get a code for your purchase, next purchase, tips and tricks, a QR code to the VIP Facebook group and any sort of uh, video instruction you may need. Some more instructions right here. And then last but not least, a QR code for the app, one for Droid and one for iPhone. And um, save 20% off your first app purchase. All right. Here are our monster drills right here, you guys. There's a lot of, a lot of flipping drills. And I see one big old gray AB, so I'm excited. Here is our large sticker sheet, you guys. This is like one of my favorite parts. There are 46 colors, like I said. Um, so you can put your start, your end date right here. The picture of them in the forest, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. It's a square, it gives the size of your canvas and all of that. And it looks like, like we said, one AB, and then we have two fairy dust diamonds right here. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and with Diamond Art Club, anything under the number 150 will be an AB. And what that is, is just a super sparkly coating on top of your drills. Um, and then the fairy dust is like an AB, but it's more of like a glittery effect instead of a diamondy shiny effect. So it just gives like another, um, you know, attribute to your painting, right? So like I said, here are our drills. We'll take a look at these later. Are you guys ready? Like I said, I'm going to do my absolute best to get all of this in. We might have to pan down. So here we go. Oh my God. Oh, look, thank you for this color blocking. Oh my God, it is magnificent. Has anyone done a Harry Potter event? Maybe I might need to think about doing that. If there's a Harry Potter event, can you please list it below in the comments if you know, or you can direct me in the right location. If not, I might have to start thinking about my own, putting on my own little Harry Potter event. I love this. So it is this huge, right up, I mean, huge. Their faces are super, super clear. Of course, Diamond Art Club. Ooh, so this does have the new perforated, um, you guys, I don't know if you can see that, but it does have the new perforated sections on the canvas. So if that way it helps um, have more manageable sizes, but you can still section it off. You can make them larger if you want. You could, um, you, know, you could run your washi if that's what you choose to do over more than just two sections or, um, or you could not. Some people use release papers and they don't do all that. I really enjoy sectioning off my kit. It makes it less overwhelming for me and gives me like milestones of 
you know, feeling accomplished. So I do really, really enjoy that. So let's take a look at our symbol clarity right here. I mean, it's Diamond Art Club, so I'm just kind of going through the motions because we all know that Diamond Art Club is got them clear symbols, right? So let's take a, a little look. I forgot. See, I got so involved. I forgot to let you know that we have do what makes you sparkle at the top. And then way up there in the upper left, as well as down here in the lower right, we have our legend. And then at the bottom, you have the title and a thumbnail, the size, um, letting you know that is legally licensed, saying with the Wizarding World characters, names, and released and related identica are um, property of Warner Brothers Entertainment, publishing rights, uh, JK Rowling, and then Diamond Art Club. That means that everybody is done the right way. It is legally licensed. People are being compensated who need to be compensated. So that way we have, um, Diamond Art Club has the legal right to sell this image and we have the enjoyment of working on it and knowing that all the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted, so to speak. So let's focus right here on Harry Potter. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. All right, so it says Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I'm hoping, I mean, I'm sure it will, but I'm hoping that this shows up. I know the Harry Potter will, and I like that it's, you know, dimensional right here. We've got Harry up in the front. This, like that, you guys, I'm telling you, all down here is all color blocking or line blocking. And I'm absolutely loving it. I'm going to have to move this back a little bit, sorry. So that way you guys can see and there's not that glare. So I'm loving that this is Harry back here. And it's kind of illuminating him. We have Hermione, I'm loving her hair. And it's got the forest, excuse me, the forest behind them. And then we have Ron over here on the side. What is down here? Is there anything down there? What does that look like? I can't even tell. Oh, it looks like Ron. Is he on a broomstick? What's this right here? Or is that Hermione's hand? I don't know what's going on, but I absolutely love it. This is literally like probably one of my favorite, most favorite of all the Harry Potters right here. I'm loving, this is going to be so, like, the blues. I love blue, black and blue, like a bruise, right? Those are my favorite colors. But I'm loving that there is, like, lighter areas to kind of brighten it up and, and give that illuminating look, I guess, for lack of better words. So, that's that. Let's flip this over and take a look at our drills, okay? So we're gonna take a peek. Hopefully I can get these in, back in here. Stop wasting all my Ziploc bags because I'll put them in the big Ziploc freezer bags if I can't get them back in here. Then after we go through the drills, we are going to flip this back over and then see where our specials go. So that is always exciting. I always try to remember like how these go and to fold them back. So maybe I'll do that. So that's like this, half, half, and then I try to remember where the folds are. All right. So we have 154, 779, 3861. Remember, these are not in DMC order. D D uh, Diamond Art Club does it by weight. 3752, 161, 452. Here's our first fairy dust right here. It's that light blue 775. We have a little bit of that. So I just recently found out, and thank you for those that commented in my last video, that I guess Diamond Art Club, they made their new colors and they are in the 600 series. So I'm excited about that. 160. Ooh, 168. Loving these colors. 414, 413, 317. So here is our first train of diamonds. Oh my goodness.
141 here is our one and only AB, that beautiful white. It always makes things look absolutely amazing. I love the white AB. 800, 318, 3325, 3760. We have two bags of that. 3842, 319, and 3765. Oh, no, we have, was that 3765? Okay, yeah, we have two bags of that, 3765, 415. Here is our second Fairy Dust Diamond, the 813, a really nice size bag. 3865, that off-white, 890, 3750, 334. We have one, two... Three bags of three, eight, four, seven. Ooh, I felt a hole. I gotta watch out for that. We have one, two, three bags of three, eight, oh, eight. We have one, two, three, four, five bags of eight, twenty three. And we have one, two bags. No, hold on. Two, three, four bags of 939. One, two, three, four bags of 336. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13 bags of 310, and then last but not least, 762. So loving that. So not too many colors at all, my friends. It's like I said, there's a lot of color blocking, so I'm very excited. The confetti will start up in the trees. All right, I'm going to pause this, put these drills away, and we'll be right back. All right, not too, too bad, but not that great either, but it worked and it didn't take me too long. So let us focus now. So one is one on here. And then we're looking for an anchor and then that that dice looking or the d d uh, division symbol, whatever you want to call that. Those are the symbols we're going to be looking for. As I see them, I will call them out. So all in here. All the ones that you see in the lettering, those are all going to be that white AB. So I'm very excited about that. It looks like the rest of it is just going to be your regular drills, but it's going to be super sparkly. Then we're going to be looking for that anchor. So no ABs on the, which I'm happy about here on Harry's forehead. That one fairy dust should be easy to find because it was a rather large bag. But I am not seeing it. Maybe it's up at the top. So let me roll this a little bit. So we'll see if I can find it because I'm not seeing either one. I'm glad there's no ABs on any of the characters because I'm not a fan when they do that, unless maybe it's in the eyes. So we do have some fairy dust over here. And, and like up through here. So the fairy dust, I believe, is going to be all in the background to kind of give it that spooky effect. The only one I am not seeing is the, oh, here's the anchor. So yeah, all the fairy dust is going to be in the background to kind of give it that alluring and spooky look. So what else do you, what do you guys think? Did anybody else get this one? What other Harry Potter kits do you guys have? I want to know. You guys, I'm literally like obsessed. Obsessed with Harry Potter. Um, so that is it for me. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm excited to see if any more Harry Potter um, is coming out. I'm slowly chipping away at my little collection, uh, my little wish list, I should say, on Amazon and in the remaining Harry Potter that they do have on here. So 
more to follow on that. But until next time, my friends, I hope that you have a fabulous rest of your day. I hope you get to relax. And remember, be safe and be kind. Bye.